Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 41, and this is the first war of the season. And look at this, we're going up against an alliance called Phoenix. I used to be in the Namor alliance uh, of this alliance family, and these guys are good. So this should be interesting. All right, let's see who they banned. Hey, they didn't ban Gallon. I like them already. Let's see, they're globally banned. Okay. Let's uh, take a look in here. We're still in the discussion phase. No one on that first node. All right, Silver Surfer. And Omega Sentinel. I'll probably bring in Gallon, of course, for that. Let me see here. Has an armor up. They're immune. Okay. Striking. The defender will special. Okay, good. Yeah, so Gallon, because of this node, and because she gets armor ups, should be able to handle her. Uh, this Hulkling... If I'm called to, I can try with uh, Gallon, but I think one of my other alliance mates is going to uh, take that one. Ooh, Shuri, huh? Hmm. Well, Claire, as far as I know, oh, yeah. Yeah, Claire. Claire for sure. And uh, one of my alliance mates is definitely going to bring in, I think, Torch for that uh, abs man there. All right, let's just take a quick look around, see who they have laid out here. And as usual, if I'm called to, I will take somebody here if they don't have anyone that can uh, take them and I have a good option. Okay, so you guys can see the defenders and where they placed different defenders. Hmm. Okay. All righty then. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right, so I'm going in with the dynamic trio. The Overseer, Claire, and Gallon. Now, I'm not anticipating any problems. Pretty easy fights, very straightforward. I've got the counters for them, so uh, everything should go well, right? Right? Yeah. So this first fight is Silver Surfer. I've fought him before on this path, so um, there shouldn't be any surprises. I know how to fight him. Uh, if I could get him uh, to throw up his um, special, the uh, special one, during the uh, armor phase, the fight can go much faster. So you're going to see me try to do that uh, here. So I'm just doing medium light medium uh, because he doesn't have an armor up. All right. But I'm like, okay, try th throw, your, throw your special. Nope. Not there. All right. Let's wait a little bit. All right. Now throw your special. Throw your special one. No. No special one. Now he throws a special one when he has the power up. And I'm just like, you know what? Forget this, right? Um, just wasting time. All right, he fired his special again. Caught me, don't know how, but whatever. Um, I should have paid attention. All right, here we go. This is Sparta, but not enough. And I'm like, okay, this fight is taking much longer than it should have. Um, I played around a little too much trying to get him to throw his special right at the right time. I won't do that again. I'll just build up and, and take him out like I know to do. All right. So, you know, we're, we're at this point in time, uh, I'm having a little trouble and look at this, look at this, look at this. How y'all like that? How y'all like that evade? Now... You would think that with that evade, everything should be fine, right? 
just wait. So we got Silver Surfer down. Took longer than it should. Mainly my fault. Uh, almost got messed up with that uh, special two. Uh, it can be very difficult to evade close up. So I wouldn't want to try that again. All right. So this next fight is against Omega Sentinel. And because of the node, I'm going to be gaining crazy planetary uh, mass. Okay. And so this is a very easy, straightforward fight. Don't even have to do medium light mediums. Just have to fight. Fight regular and we got her. Okay. So look at look at his planetary mass. All right. Now, what happened there? That's a hint. That was a heavy attack that I tried to evade and got stuck. That is the problem that I always had with the new input system. All right. So now I'm like, okay, look at my planetary mass, y'all. Look at the planetary mass. A ask me something. Why am I not throwing the heavy? Oh, now it throws the heavy. Why did that happen? I was trying to throw that heavy before, and suddenly it dashed backwards and then threw the heavy. And she punished it. Easy fight. And that happened. First fight of the season. You know how I was feeling at this point, right? And if you watch my uh, videos, I complained before about some issues with Gallon and the sluggishness of his heavy attacks at times. I got messed up by a Nimrod because of that. I don't know what's going on. I found out uh, during a live stream that they removed the option for the input refactor. See, I always had that turned off because of that issue where I evade and it just ignores it. And it's 99% of the time it's on a heavy, trying to evade the heavy when I'm close. All right. And you see how I, I was dashing back earlier right there. That's because now that I knew that I'm having that issue, I'm trying to stay away and doing it a little bit, I don't know, with more distance. And we got her down. It should have been a very straightforward and easy fight. I should not have died there. So not happy. Not happy at all. All right. But we got we got through it. One death. First death of the season. First game of the season. So the uh, middle got cleared. And I go up, up, up. And I'm going to have to fight this Shuri. Now, Shuri, besides being cute, uh, can be a, a very large pain to fight. Um, especially if your preferred style is a parry heavy type style. You don't, you're not going to really like her a whole lot. Um, you really just want to fight her kind of stun immune. And you have to watch for that untouchable. And so you just got to be careful. All right. So you can see here, I'm going in. I'm kind of fighting her stun immune. All right. Just letting her go ahead and hit. The problem is I do a lot of energy attacks. You see her start glowing? Yeah. And I'm blocking these. I'm not even playing with her. Uh, I do not know how to evade her specials reliably. This is not the time to practice. Uh, you'll notice I'm staying in uh, Curse of Blood so that I can just get it back. I know the fight is going to be a little bit longer, you know, doing it this way. But, you know, it is what it is, you know, and I'm not able to get rid of that armor. And I'm pretty sure that armor counts. That's probably why they put her on there. Now, see, she's untouchable right now, so I'm just waiting that out. Okay. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> the first time I was fighting her, I was so distracted watching her animations. <laughs> Look at this. Naughty. All right. Anyway. So, we, we're just slow playing it. But look at my health. 
And see, she's untouchable. All right. Wore out. And here we go. And I'm sitting here like, okay, I didn't heal up as much as I really wanted to. I should have uh, cycled once and got rid of the poison. All right. I thought that was going to kill her. And it didn't. And I'm like, oh, boy. I was like, please don't hurt me too much. Don't do it to me, sure. All right. And she was down. But that fight had me sweating. It definitely had me sweating. Um, she is a pain at times. Uh, I need to learn how to fight her a little bit more efficiently. Look at my health. That was scary. And, of course, for this fight, that's why I brought Claire. Claire was going to take Shuri and definitely this Vision Arcus. But look at the planetary endurance. I caught that because I can't nullify. That's why I was looking carefully. Look at planetary endurance. So one of the reasons that Claire is so good against Vision Arcus normally is because she can nullify him. And then it makes it a very easy fight. See what I'm looking at here? Because if he gets an armor up, and I couldn't remember if he did or not, that means I'm going to have to deal with shock damage. And that could be dangerous. Okay, if he got an armor up and I couldn't nullify him, that's rough. That is rough, okay? So as you see, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? Who am I going to use? Should I heal up or should I go in with the overseer? So you see there, I left it. I went and did some research. Came back. And said, okay, I think I have a plan. And you see, I got, you know, my I got my boost still going. You know, I wasn't gone that long. And uh, wanted to make sure, just in case I was wrong. Now, the shocks, the invulnerability won't help. But I'm thinking at this point, if I have to deal with um, his special three... The invulnerability will help me. But I'm going to try not to do that as much as possible. You know, I'm going to bait that special one out as much as I can. All right. And I go right in and I get that extra retaliation damage. Thanks to uh, the Overseer's kit. And you see, I'm just trying to bait it out. And he's playing. So that's great. And we're whittling him down. As long as he keeps on firing that special, we're good. Look at that. Got some good good damage in. All right. He's getting up to his special two, but he fired the special one. Great. Bam. Hit him with it. Oh, yeah. I'm doing very good at this point. And I'm thinking, okay, we got this. We got this. All right. Look at that. Yeah. Boom. Didn't even need the invulnerability boost. But I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Y'all know what I'm saying, right? So that fight went quite well. The Overseer is definitely a rank up I do not regret. Um, very, very good. All right, now, my fights are not over. Normally they would be, but I was asked to help out because my Overseer, despite that fight, is still in good fighting shape. And they asked me to take this gallon. So, uh, as I've always said, I always, people ask me, uh, don't you take anything on Boss Island? If they ask me to, yes. If nobody has a good counter, nobody is assigned to it, and they say, hey, you want to try Gallon with your uh, Overseer? I'm like, okay. If you think that that's a good matchup, I'm in there. All right. So, here we go. Advanced power boost because I want to race. You know, that's my thought at this point. Get to um, a special because he's a subdue attacker 
get to the special and start blocking him. But something I did not realize. Look at his planetary mass. You see his planetary mass? It's not going anywhere. I'm like, okay. Okay, he fired his uh, heavy. I want him to give me that special one. And look at his planetary mass. Nothing. It didn't grow. And I thought it was going to grow. I thought I was going to have to keep on firing my special attacks to uh, keep him down. All right? Look at him. He's at zero. He fired that off. Nothing. See, if he doesn't have 100 planetary mass, he's not going to get that extra crazy damage that you guys see. No harvest. He can only get a harvest at 100 or more. So I thought I was going to have to really keep him down with, with specials and everything. But it didn't appear that I needed to. So at this point, I'm like, okay, um, special one or special two doesn't really matter. And I was like, okay, this is a this is gonna be a good one. So look at that. Even if he hit me with the special um, or his heavy attack, I don't think that would matter either. So here we go. And see, I don't mind, bam. Stun, still went in. And I don't care if he fires his special two off because he doesn't have enough for a harvest. He can't get his harvest started. So I'm not really in any danger. He is whittling me down a little bit, but he's not gonna do nothing. Here we go again. Bam, knockout. And that was it. All right, so that was the last fight that I had to do for this war. So in a minute, we'll be back. Uh, and you will find out how the first war of the season ended. And we're back and we won. First war of the season. The season has gotten off to a great start despite the input issues that I experienced earlier. Uh, I'm loving it because this alliance was one of the higher end alliances of the family that I was in previous to this alliance. Uh, my The actual alliance that I was in was Namor and they are lower ranked than uh, these guys. So winning feels good, feels good. Uh, I believe we did face them once as um, when I was in Namor and we lost. I think we did twice and lost both times. So this feels good. Anyway, that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. It helps me grow. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.